Hey guys, what's up, what's up? It's the Magician the Tarot here, back with another installment. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> We're talking about who's keeping tabs on you. Come on in. I'm messing up my intro already. Please accept me. <laughs> who's keeping tabs on you? Who's spying on you? Who's been a creep out in the shadows? Who's lurking? I don't know. I've already preached up and blessed four pals. Allow me to pick my pals, please. First pile is going to be this bay leaf. Say, move it along, please. You're such a slow poke. Always added to a bay leaf. Second pile is going to be this cardinal MC. Say, you're doing fine to me. <laughs> Third pile is going to be the cinnamon stick right there. Say, mm, somebody's looking sultry today. Look, guys, I appreciate the energy with this pile, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> um, last pile is going to be a star knee. Say, twinkle, twinkle, little star. You can take a little bit of compliments. No, I can't. I Actually, compliments make me feel really awkward. So if you feel the same, that's probably your pile. Guys, I love you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Channeling energy is already, so I can't wait to talk about who's keeping tabs on who's spying. Peace. Like, share, and subscribe, please. Time stamp below. Still messing up, messing up on my intros, remix. Er, 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 er. Okay, bye. <laughs>
We have the two of wands. The two of wands is planning. I have somebody that monitors you, whether it be through a camera lens or they just have a, a scope on you. You know what I mean? So I don't know what's going on here, but they see you going to and from and they plan on sending someone your way. And I'm sorry to scare anybody out there, but I know that you guys are protected and spirit is showing you this information. You just have to be more aware of your surroundings. What else you got? You have the Eight of Swords. This is not to scare anybody because Eight of Swords in reverse is being free. Okay? They want to prosecute you. They want to trap you is what I'm getting with the Eight of Swords, but they won't get you. You have to be fully aware. You have to take the blindfold off. You have to be strategic is what I'm hearing with the Eight of Swords out here in reverse. Okay? So it's not to bring you fear with this message and all this violence out here. I know, you know, I would be a bit thrown off if somebody was trying to harm me too, but Spirit is telling me Spirit is protecting you. And they're going to fall into their own trap is what I'm getting here with this Eight of Swords out here upright. But you guys don't need to worry. You just need to be mindful and watchful with this blindfold on or off. Spirit is telling me to count this out. I got the Two of Swords out here upright. This is more confirmation that nothing will come to you. You just have to have the blindfold off because the Two of Swords is a woman that has a blindfold on and she's closed off. And with the two swords out here, just telling me that you don't have to worry. It's to know that they won't get you, but you have to be fully aware. What's going on here? High priestess. A lot of you guys are very intuitive and you know who I'm talking about. A lot of you guys, you know, use tarot readings as information is what I'm getting here. So you know exactly who I'm talking about. And I see a mob out here. And I'm not saying you have a mob out to get you, but I see that people don't like high priestesses. People don't like when, you know, you get information from spirit. You know, that's their own issue. And spirit will handle them accordingly. Okay. What else we got, Great Spirit? See, spirit is out here. Spirit, and it could be in a matter of money out here with this Ace of Coins out here. Two of Swords. Spirit is watching the entire situation with the Two of Swords out here in reverse. Two of Swords is being fully aware. I feel like you have sharp intuition with the two of swords in reverse because two of swords is typically being closed off spirit wants me to reiterate that they won't get you well this is the five of swords oh well spirit is showing me the two of swords i got the five of swords which is mislabeling the enemy be watchful of everybody that you come across especially at night is what i'm getting here with this hermit card out here Five of Swords misleading your enemy. You know, you don't know who is who, so be watchful of everybody. Great Spirit, hold through. What is going on here? Four of Swords is out here. This is not to stir any drama. Remain peaceful. Remain at home if you can. Great Spirit, what's going on here? Who's keeping tabs on you? We start off with the Ten of Swords. Can I get closer remarks, please? And thank you. I got two cards for the Ten of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. And I like starting off my dupe kits, but Spirit is telling me you might want to go to Pile 3. Let's start off with this Ten of Swords out here energy. They want to see you hurt and down and out. Sad. Death card. They want to beat you down. The Death card in reverse is sickness and ailments. They want you to have a black eye or at least bloody. You see all this blood on this? They might have a knife. And I saw the knife out here with the Knight of Swords out here. So they want to scare you and intimidate you because my death card is fear and intimidation. They don't want to kill you. They just want to make an example. And spirit is watching them and what they cause and what they want to do to you. Let's talk about it. Six of Swords out here in the verse. There's an issue for you go going outside with the Six of Swords out here in the verse because the Six of Swords is a determined state. It's all about going from a rough state of mind to a calm state of mind. So when you travel, going back and forth, make it short and brief. Don't be out lollygagging or just out and about. What else we got? Spirit wants me to count this out. I got the Four of Swords out here at Prey. Four of Swords is to remain home as much as you can so you don't have to run into turbulence. And that's just not to make you a hermit. It's just to make you more aware of this situation, this phase, and this season, or, you know, this time frame. Let's talk about the Two of Pentacles out here. Ten of Cups out here. Now, what I'm getting with this Ten of Cups is this might be a family member that they know of because the Ten of Cups is family. They don't want to bring you peace. They want to bring you turbulence out here. That's what I'm getting here with the Ten of Cups out here. 
okay? It's not going to be, you know, roses. It's going to be, like, intimidation and fear. And I'm sorry to read this energy. I really am. Emperor's out here. Now, they see you as taking care of yourself. They have how you look in a description of yourself is what I'm getting here with the Empress. They know that you, what type of clothes that you wear with this Empress out here, and that's how this attacker is going to have a mark on. Like, it's one thing with this red being on both these individuals, it's something that you always wear. And they like, okay, that's them. They always wear this, and that's how it's going to be a target. So try to switch up your wardrobe. Try to switch up your routine. Let's talk about this Knight of Swords out here, an attacker. Six of Pentacles out here in universe. I feel like this person didn't want to accept the offers when I'm getting here because it wasn't worth it. They might not even fulfill what was given. They might have paid somebody is what I'm getting here for a hit is what I'm getting here. And the person doesn't want to do it and they might not even do it. They might just take the money and tell them, hey, they weren't around. What else we got? Four of Cups out here. Even, you know, this is actually good with the Four of Cups because the Four of Cups is being fully aware and I feel like you're dealing with somebody that doesn't want a confrontation because the Four of Cups is being stubborn and closed off and being seated. I feel like this person doesn't want a confrontation. They just want to accept the money and say, hey, I didn't see them. The Four of Cups, let me show you because I know people don't know what the Four of Cups traditionally is, but the Four of Cups is a message being placed in front of a person and they can't, they don't want to like, you know, they don't want to receive it. So when they see you, they probably won't even acknowledge you is what I'm getting here. Here it is. With the Four of Cups, it's like, okay, here's my mark right there. And here they are just seated and not really willing to get up off their butts is what I'm getting here. So they are fully aware if they do see you, but they probably won't move. They'll just take the money that they were offered and just ignore you. Let's talk about the Ten of Swords out here. Tempers out here in reverse. Now, the Tempers out here in reverse is telling me they go back and forth in their mind space. Do I really want to catch a case? Do I really want to cause violence and disturbance on someone else? Because they're recognizing that who they're asking for, who well, who's asking them to do this is a bit shady. And they don't want to go down with them or another person because of their negativity, if that makes any sense. Let's talk about the two of wands. Knight of... <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, somebody's scared. Like, they had plans, but I feel like you're an attacker because I remember the knight being out here and this is still the same person. Somebody's probably scared or intimidated by you. If they were to confront you, I feel like they're just going to take the money is what I'm getting here. Like, this is just free money for them. So don't be scared, but just be aware. Let's talk about this Eight of Swords out here in reverse. We have the Page of Swords out here. And I also have the Seven of Swords out here in the verse. What, you have information that you are sharing is what I'm getting here with this, this page of Swords out here. The Seven of Swords in the verse is telling me that you want to call somebody out and they don't want you to call anybody out. They want to inflict fear and intimidation on you. That's all I got. You got spies out here wanting to see you trapped. They monitor you. Let's talk about this High Priestess out here. Seven of Wands out here. Don't let your guards down and just be fully aware. You know, if you go out at night, be with a crowd, be with more than one person. Don't go out by yourself is what I'm getting here. And that's all I got for you. I'm sorry to read this energy. I don't want to inflict fear on anybody, but I want you to be fully aware. Peace, y'all. I love you. Stay safe.
Hey, 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 what's up, Kyron C? Come on in, let's see who's keeping tabs on you. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on? Power number two, please and thank you. Hopefully, it's nothing like power one. Um, Great Spirit, what's going on? Power two, please. Oh my, somebody has an erection for you or lots of sexual energy for you. Because <laughs> somebody just flashed me. Somebody wants to seduce you, somebody wants to have sex with you, somebody's going to surprise you. Like, it's probably the last person you imagine, but I see an erection out here. Somebody finds you very attractive. They're thinking with their sexual glands is what I'm getting here. They will probably never court you or date you, but you arouse them. So that's who's keeping tabs on you. And spirit, we have the hand of spirit out here. It's keeping tabs on them. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Higher font out here. So we got some lesbians out here too, because I have these two fingers out here. And it's, it's, it's not foreplay, you know, <laughs> it's not foreplay. This is a boss or a leader with this higher font out here. Okay, now I see one and two out here. They had the first chance to really penetrate you is what I'm hearing, but they want another chance to penetrate you. They want a second shot at you. This is a boss or a leader that's only thinking with their sexual glands is what I'm getting here, and they want a second shot at you. They were very attracted to you. They never got a chance to get a whiff of you or, you know, get your scent on them or, you know, feel what it's all about is what I'm getting here, but you arouse them. I see men and women out here with these two fingers. So take a resonance. What else we got? We have some semen out here or fluid. This is sexual fluid, bodily fluid is what I'm seeing here with this ace of cups out here. Now, what I see here is they're going to try to wave a white flag and get in your good graces is what I'm getting here with this ace of cups. Try to use their heart space, but they're thinking with their sexual glands first, okay? And I also see that they masturbate to you. They ejaculate. Or they, you know, they just imagine themselves with you. They climax to the thought of you is what I'm getting here. Like if you have content or if you have posts, they are just, you know, relishing in their ecstasy is what I'm getting here. Like a lot. <laughs> what else we got? Tower card out here. This is destruction. This is also forceful energy. I feel like you guys would not enjoy the sexual pleasure. This is borderline rape, to be honest with you, with the tower card, because tower isn't a pleasurable moment. And I feel like if they can't have you, like they have to be forceful and take it. Like that, the tower is force. It's, it's a turbulence. It's stress. You know. So I feel like their sexual appetite gets the best of them. Is what I'm getting here. And this is borderline rape leading to rape to be honest with you so be very uh, aware of this person if they try to reach out to you i feel like there's a reason why this tower card happened i feel like you guys aren't around this person anymore with this two out here they had a first chance and they didn't get a second chance and i feel like something bad happened where you guys had a part ways and i still see them just like really taking it because they couldn't have it the first time what else you got they're going to try to play innocent. They're going to try to act like your friend. They're going to try to be friendly with this uh, Six of Cups. They're going to try to say, I'm looking out for you, but they're really not. They have a motive, okay? Like I said before, they're going to try to get in your good graces. I got the Seven of Cups out here. They look at you as an option or a trophy is what I'm getting with the Seven of Cups. One of the many is what I'm getting, but they just never had somebody like you is what I'm getting with the Seven of Cups out here upright. And they, they just... They watch all your content with the Seven of Cups. They just ponder and speculate or masturbate. What else you got? You got the Four of Swords out here. I see your home space. Um, it's something about them seeing where you live. They knowing where you live. They seeing inside your home space. They want to climb in bed with you. Maybe they could, you know, have sex with you at your home. It's something about they can't do it where they're at. But they, this is your energy out here. They want to come where you rest, where you sleep. Okay. Um, now, this is typically peace, but I don't have peace out here. This is scaring me, actually. Because if they don't get what they want, it's R.I.P. You know what I mean? Like, this is just that type of demonic type of person or personality. Some of that has to have you by any means. And if you won't go with it, then I got to get rid of you. Not to scare anybody. What else we got? 
emperor out here. This is another example of a person of authority that abuses their power. Somebody that wants to mix business with pleasure with the emperor out here in reverse. Somebody that's very entitled. Somebody that thinks they can have whatever or whoever they want. Let's get closer to Mercs. We've been thank you. Star card out here. They see you as an object. That's what I'm getting with star card. You hold their attention, you know, and they're forceful and they want to tame you. Great Spirit. They feel like they're entitled to you. Great Spirit is a channel message I have. Great Spirit, can I get closer to Mercs for this file, please? And thank you. The past two readings have been very scary. Well, one and two. I don't wish this on anybody. Let's talk about this Ace of Wands out here. Lover's card. I mean, this is a confirmation that they want to penetrate you. They want to act like a lover and you arouse them. It's something about you that nobody else has. Um, I'm seeing a skin complexion out here. Like, it's something about your complexion. It's something about, you know, you look exotic is what I'm getting here with this Lover's card out here. Let's talk about this higher font out here. King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody that's greedy and needy and feels entitled with this emperor and the King of Pentacles out here in reverse. Like their position in life gets to their head and they just feel like they can have what they want. Okay. For some of them, they'll even bribe you for money. But that's, that's very unlikely, to be honest with you. Let's talk about the Ace of Cups out here, right? Five of Swords. Now, they could have a family and they do it behind their family's back. You know, it's what I'm getting here with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is backstabbing. Well, not backstabbing, but doing things behind people's back and lying. I feel like they keep this fantasy in the shadows is what I'm getting here. And they just, like, masturbate in the closet or something like that. I'm not saying literally a closet, but, like, in some dark place where nobody else can watch them or get a view of them. I feel like when they have sex with their counterpart, if they have a counterpart, they don't have any more spunk. And they're, like, a... Uh, overcooked spaghetti because they can't climax or get hard because you know they use all their jizz on you or your content the channel message tarot card out here page of swords out here page of swords is a spy I feel like this person has a history of violence has a history of negativity is what I'm getting here ever since they were a child I feel like th I'm hearing that this person had somebody molest them or you know take advantage of them and that's why they feel like they can take advantage of other people they feel like if it happened to them they can do it to other people spirit is watching that attitude as i mentioned before with this ace of wands out here upright <laughs> let's talk about the six of cups out here ace of cups they want to wave a white flag they want to send a peace offering is what i'm getting here with this dove out here seven of cups out here it's been a, a long time coming is what i'm hearing with the seven of cups because the seven of cups is waiting your and watching your options so they want to offer a peace offering but i would not trust it whatsoever it's all a gimmick let's talk about the four swords out here ace of rods out here this is the type of person that will have sex with a dead body is what i'm getting here there will be a rouse we have the ace we have the ace of ones out here twice i'm talking to a lot of same sex um people or people that are into the same sex okay i, I got a, a sword fight out here <laughs> literally but this is the type of person that will have i got jeff y'all know that person jeff domfrey or whatever his name was he was having sex with dead bodies and um he couldn't he couldn't be himself, so he would murder his victim so word wouldn't get out. And that's just sick. You're dealing with a sick and perverted person. And if I have somebody watching my content, I still have your file. Ready to send to the FBI. Just want you to know. You should be aware. Uh, Emperor out here in reverse. Nine of swords. Somebody's hands is tied. They can't act um, like they want to. And they're also afraid of persecution with these hands being bound. Like, they will go to jail. They know they will. And they probably have evidence at their place of residence that will cause them to go to jail if word does get out. Um, but they only think about pleasure because my nine of swords are in versus pleasure. And they want to bound you up so that you're their property. Channel message. This is a sick person. I, I'd be okay if you didn't even like, share, or subscribe because I don't like this energy whatsoever and I don't wish this on you, but please be aware of somebody like this. I love you guys, though. Peace.
I might have to submit. <laughs> I might have to submit that application or, you know, that evidence that I have. If this is the person that I suspect it is, Mr. RB. Yikes. You know, it's okay. Spirit watches. Spirit's going to tell me what to do. This is an interesting reading, I gotta tell you. What's up, Sam Sick? Come on in, let's talk about you. Who's keeping tabs on you? Hopefully it's nothing like the first few piles. Great Spirit, what's going on with Pile 3? Please and thank you. You guys might want to go to Pile 2 because they have two duplicates out here. And you, please, viewer's discretion is advised. Great Spirit, what's going on with Pile 3? Please and thank you. Who's keeping tabs on them? Spirit is keeping tabs on you guys. Um, whoever we're talking about, I feel like I'm talking to people that have sharp intuition because the Ace of Swords is all about truth, clarity, and intuition. But Spirit's hand is out here watching people that want to do you wrong is what I'm hearing. People that want to put a knife to your back is what I'm hearing. So Spirit is watching those that wish negativity on you, channel message. So have no fear. Channel message. What else we got? You are a child of God and Spirit doesn't want you to live in fear is what I'm getting here with this page of wands out here. I did a reading where I was telling people they kind of have to stay in the house. And with this page of wands, he wants to go out and adventure. And it's not like you guys have to, you know, be a hermit is what I'm getting here. But you have to know that you're protected. You're spiritually protected is what I'm getting here. So spirit is keeping tabs on you. You are a child of God. Okay, so don't worry if things get spicy. Don't worry if things get turbulent. What else we got? You have advancement soon, but not right now. You guys got like two weeks where you have to be secluded or you have to not be out and about is what I'm getting here with this Knight of Wands out here because people are out to get you. And unless you're armed and ready to go, then stay home as much as you can is what I'm getting here. This is these two wands. Got, I got the two wands out here. Two wands are all about planning. But you have to make plans and act accordingly when you go outside because other people have plans to harm you. Okay, and I don't wish this energy on you. Please don't think I do. I'm just reading the energy. But you guys have to be mindful of when you advance outside. This is the same person out here. What's going on here? We got the Five of Pentacles. People want to see you suffer is what I'm getting with the Five of Pentacles. Whether that be health-wise or financially is what I'm getting here. So I don't want you guys to be a hermit. I don't want you to live in fear. But I want you guys to be aware that people don't wish you well. What else you got? Five of Swords out here. It's multiple people out here don't, that don't wish you well. And to be honest with you, people will act innocent and smile in your face when they're really an, uh, an enemy is what I'm getting here with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is all about mislabeling your enemy. And I feel like people will smile in your face and say, hey, come here. I'm your friend. And to be honest with you, they are armed and ready to take advantage. Spirit is telling me to count this out. The Four of Swords out here in the verse is telling me that I'm taking somebody's peace away. I don't want you to be scared. I don't want you to be paranoid or nothing like that with the four swords being in reverse i just want you to be prepared and have faith in spirit okay because spirit is all knowing all seeing but when you go out be mindful of the people that want to smile in your face be mindful of your surroundings be mindful of being out at night spirit is giving you the okay during the day during the day in the crowds are fine but at night and when you're alone is a big no-no channel message what else you got Knight of Pentacles. You have to be practical when you go out. And it's also interesting whenever I get two knights in one reading, you have to prepare yourself for war or for the worst is what I'm getting here. You have to arm yourself. You have to have protection. If you have, you know, mace, a knife, you have to be on guard, especially if you're alone because other people don't have the same intentions as you. You know, I don't know why they would want to hurt you. I'm just reading the energy of their intentions and their motive. What else you got? 
devil card in reverse. And this is synonymous with my five of swords being reversed. They will put on a mask, they will smile on your face and act like they're innocent. But in all actuality, they have a motive. They will have an objective of doing harm and negativity towards you, okay? The devil lurks on those that are of light is what I'm getting here with the devil card in reverse and the ace of swords upright. You guys are of light. You guys have high intuition and I feel like the devil doesn't like that and they'll smile on your face just to get close to you, just to harm you. So be aware. It's not to be scared. You know, rent some movies on Netflix. I see Netflix out here. You know, stay in the house, stay with your family. If you go out, have a group, be in a group setting at all times. Never have somebody leave you on your own. What else you got? Knight of Pentacles out here. And I feel like I'm scaring people again. And I'm sorry because at the end of this reading, it tells me that you guys are scared because my Knight of Pentacles in reverse is a scaredy cat. And it's not to make you scared. It's a time frame, y'all. Spirit wants me to double back. It's a time frame. This is not forever. This is just momentarily right now. Okay? This too shall pass is what I'm hearing. Okay? But this two weeks out here is just like a time frame for you. I'm sorry. Tower card out here at the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants to cause conflict. Somebody wants to cause stress. Somebody wants to cause an upheaval. Especially when you come back to and from. Eight of Cups is leaving everything behind. And when it's in reverse, it's coming back. And I feel like this person is by himself. You have to have eyes on you. I mean, you have to have people with you because eyes are on you. And you have to be weary of going out at night. I'm not using this deck though. Spirit wanted me to. A spirit. A spirit wants me to go back. Okay. I, the reason I didn't want to use this deck because this is an energy that I don't want to manifest. But spirit is confirming to me. Spirit is all knowing and all seeing. Great spirit, we have faith in you. Can you like your closing remarks for this pile, please and thank you. talk about this ace of swords spirit tower card spirit has alerted you is what i'm getting here i'm seeing alarms i'm seeing um, blue and red lights as well um so be mindful and if you suspect of who this could be trailing you um make a file so that it's easy to submit if you suspect that you know you need to call the authorities have it on standby be ready to press that dial let's talk about this um page of wands out here Two of Swords. This is confirmation of you being closed off. You're not being seen or heard of. You have to be inside. You know, he wants to go outside, but that's the end to the O. You know, she's closed off and saying, no, I'm not using my heart space. I don't want to go outside. Do not venture outside for the next two weeks. You see this two out here? And I know it's going to be hard for you guys, but if you go outside, go with a group. Let's talk about this Knight of Wands out here nine of pentacles some of them want to rob you and take your resources or take your money is what i'm getting here um some of them want to rape you because i see a vagina out here and i'm not trying to be funny but i mean i'm just reading and seeing in my cards i see a vagina right here you know this crevice people want to rob you people want to rape you it's a plethora of things so this time frame in the next two weeks is all about people in a, and demons like really showing their horns Let's talk about the five of pentacles out here. I want to see you suffer. If you abandon going outside, you won't suffer is what I'm getting here. You cannot go out at night alone in the dark, okay? Because people lurk. This is what this reading is all about. People lurking and being creeps, okay? So abandon that thought of going outside at night because the five of pentacles is all about people traveling outside at night. And we have this hermit out here at night alone. Let's talk about this five of swords out here. People acting innocent. Look, I can't make it up. We got the six of cups out here acting innocent, but in all in all actuality, they have intent to backstab you. These people, I feel like you already know who I'm talking about, are not to be trusted because they have ill intent. I read uprights reversals. Okay, so please don't you know trust them out of the blue because they're not to be trusted. Did you hear my AC click? That was confirmation from spirit. Let's talk about this Knight of Pentacles, being slow and methodical. Magician out here, if you're not slow and methodical, if you go quick, things will blow up in your face because a magician rushes things and things blow up in his face. So you have to be weary of 
items that you carry. You have to be weary of what time you go out and a plethora of things. Okay, it's not to make you scared, it's to make you prepared. You see all these items on this table, he's prepared to manifest. He's prepared to go out. And you see how he's out in the daytime? Let's talk about this um, devil card in reverse. Temperance out here in reverse. This is a combination of Lucifer. Whoever is out to get you has a ticket to hell. Okay, Lucifer was an angel of God, but then he had his ill intent, his evil intentions get the best of him. So they have a ticket to hell and they will have their karma. They will have their day. They have disappointed God. You haven't. Okay, but God wants you to seclude yourself from the evildoers. That's what I'm getting here. You see this long path? The temperance is minding his or her business. And that's what you have to do for the time being. You have to be unseen. Find something to do within the comfort of your home because people are watching you. You see these eyes out here? I don't like it. Let's talk about this Knight of Coins out here in a verse, being scared. Nine of Swords out here. And I'm sorry. I really am sorry that I brought you guys misery and stress. It was not my intention. It's just to make you aware and move these hands from outside of your face because, you know, if you block off this message, it won't be good. And... I just see it, this message brought you stress, and that's not my intention. I just want you to be fully aware. You know, if you're prepared, you won't have to be in a stressful state. Guys, that's been your message. I'm sorry to deliver it. I really am. I wish you peace, happiness, and safety. I love you. Peace. bunch of sickos i'm telling you what's up star knees come on in let's talk about you who's spying on you Holy spirit Holy spirit what's going on with power four please and thank you who's spying on power four let's keep the tabs on them what's going on with them power four no channel messages what's up oh my i see lots of options out here people that you don't even suspect with this blackout figure is what i'm channeling is somebody from your past that you haven't seen in a long time with this blacked out figure. They're keeping tabs on you, seeing where you're up to. I don't know what their motive is. Well, let's talk about it. I tap on my second card, judgment card out here. They want to send you a message. My judgment card is a wake-up call, a test, a message. They want to send you a message. They also want to come to your house because I see this key out here. I don't know what their motive is still, but this is somebody of your past that you, you haven't seen in a long time, and they're trying to figure out how to get inside your home. This is starting to get real creepy, okay? But this could be multiple people is what I'm getting here, because the Seven of Cups is multiple options. Multiple people want to get inside your home. Oh, my goodness. This is... I've had four readings that were really negative and dark, and, and with these cards out here, I see a continuation. So I don't want to scare nobody. But I want you to lock your door at night. I want you to be mindful of the people that act innocent, that have darkness around them. What's going on here, Great Spirit? Eight of Pentacles out here. Oh, my. I see lots of force out here with the Eight of Pentacles out here. The Eight of Pentacles is all about work and being efficient, but we're not talking about work or being efficient. We're talking about force. We're talking about let me in. We're talking about lots of banging. 
they don't know when to stop. You might have to dial 911. I see a dial pad out here. Oh my goodness. And I see, you know, an alert out here with the judgment card. And I see a message out here because somebody's at your door. Y'all, oh my goodness gracious. I don't know what they want. I don't know why they want to get in. Let's talk about it. Eight of Wands, this is communication and travel. A lot of you guys are going to have to call the authorities. This is communication and travel and say, hey, I got somebody outside my door trying to get in. What's going on? You might not even know who it is to tell them, hey, I got somebody. But like, it just could be random. Somebody's mon monitoring your schedule or your routine is what I'm getting here. And they're delivering a message. This is not the type of reading I wanted to read for you guys. I didn't want it to get so dark. But I want you guys to prepare yourself. What's going on? Six of Swords out here. Spirit is telling me this is just momentarily. The Six of Swords is all about going from a rough state of mind to a calm state of mind. So you're in the turbulence now, but it's not going to last forever. You know, they're going to eventually give up or get caught. They might even monitor or walk past your, your place of residence is what I'm getting here. This is some creepy energy. What else you got? Five of Pentacles out here now. You will suffer the most if you're outside and out and about, okay? You're safer inside, and they want to get inside, and they want to use force to get inside your home. But um, when it comes to you guys going outside, it's a no-go. I don't want to scare nobody and say you can't go outside because the Eight of Wands is out here. Communication and travel, a lot of you guys have things to do. But if you have to go outside, have another person with you at all times, especially at night. Spirit is showing me the... The three of coins out here in reverse. When you're not at work, it, like you have a mission to go to and from work, and if you can't have somebody by your side, that's the only place you need to go. No extracurricular places. Okay, and I, I'm not trying to scare nobody, but I see the suffering out here. I see the force out here. What else you got? We got the world card. The world is going to S H I T right now. It's lots of violence going on. When I get the world card in reverse, it's lots of chaos. Okay, Spirit is confirming that this cycle will complete itself. This cycle will end because that's what the world card is, a successful completion. But as of right now, it's less a chaos in the world. It's people wanting to do eye for an eye in a doggy dog world is what I'm hearing. Spirit is telling me to put these cards together. You just have to wait it out is what I'm getting here. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, can I get closing remarks? I mentioned this Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords started off Pile 1, so you might want to go to Pile 1. And I see this sword selling you to go to Pile 1. But Pile 1 has somebody wanting to harm them, and I feel like this is the same situation. You might have came from Pile 1. Don't know. Great Spirit, what's going on with the world? Can we get closing remarks, please? And thank you. Two cards for the World card in reverse. Asking you shall receive, okay? So what's going on with this world card in reverse chaos? Magician out here. Whatever chaos that they stir up will backfire on them. That's what I'm getting here. So don't worry about what the world is doing. Keep doing your thing, but be safe and be mindful. I was telling another pal, you have to be mindful of your whereabouts. Go outside during the day for the time being. Have a, another person with you if you go outside at night. Um, and be prepared. You see all these items on this table? He's prepared. And you just have to be mindful of the time being. I'm not here to scare nobody. But I feel like I am, and that's not my objective. So don't think, you know, I wish you peace and safety at all times. What's going on here? What else we got? Five of Swords. I talked about Five of Swords in my readings earlier. Don't allow people to smile in your face and act innocent when they're really out to get you, really out to backstab you and lie to you. The five of swords in reverse is mislabeling your enemy. So people will try to surprise you. That's what I'm getting here with the magician out here and the five of swords. I read uprights and reversals. People will pop up on you. People will act like they're your friend and then try to, you know, literally harm you just to get close to you and cause infliction. So it's, it's really a cold world out here as we see, you know. For the time being is what I'm hearing. Let's talk about the seven of cups out here. Knight of swords out here. I feel like some of you guys don't know who is out to get you. And I'm not here to make you paranoid because that's what my Knight of Swords is in reverse, making you paranoid. But you have to look at, you know, who wants to settle a score with you. And you have to be 
on guard and at alert at all times, despite your confusion. Be prepared. You know, prepare for the worst is what I'm hearing. You'd rather pre be prepared than not prepared. Let's talk about the judgment card out here upright. Ace of Wands, I like having this confirmation because they will have their karma with the judgment card out here upright. And spirit will have punishment and severe punishment for those that cause infliction and negativity upon you. You know, I see intentions right here. Their intention was to harm and spirit will make notice of that. You know, that's going to be their karma. So prepare yourself. Let's talk about this Eight of Pentacles out of the universe, all this force. Two of Pentacles, when you go to and from, like Two of Pentacles is going from one point to another. When you go to your car, when you go open your door, when you leave out the house, it's that gap. It's that gap that people are looking for. Have the Six of Pentacles out here in reverse. You can close that gap with the Six of Pentacles. They won't be able to receive what they're looking for with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, but you have to be mindful. You have to go outside during the day. Okay, as opposed to night, you see a sun and a moon right here. Okay, you got to be calculating with the scale out here for at least two weeks. At least two weeks, y'all. Let's talk about this eight of uh, wands out here. Communication travel. Knave of pentacles out here. I don't like this combination because it tells me it's leaving you insecure. And I saw the insecurity and the paranoia with this knight of swords out here. You know, I'm delivering a message and if you guys block this message... I don't really want you to. I just rather you be prepared. You can block it and say, you know what? I'm manifesting positivity in my life, but just be prepared, you know, if anything. Let's talk about the Six of Swords out here. We got the King of Pentacles out here. The King of Pentacles is very practical. Um, I just want to see you get through this time frame. I don't know. I'm not getting much off of this King of Pentacles, to be honest with you. King of Pentacles is known to be abundant. Some people want what you have is what I'm getting here. And they want to rob you. And they want to steal and run away from you. But um, you're a target is what I'm getting here with this King of Coins out here. upright. Whether you're a woman or a man. And especially me. You see this, this beauty mark? If you have a beauty mark on your face, this is especially for you. Let's talk about this Five of Pentacles out here. upright. Two of Wands out here. Somebody has planned long and hard out here. And that's why you have to stay behind a brick wall. You have to have your armor up. Okay? I read all my cards individually. And somebody wants to see you suffer down and out. They want to rob you. And whatever else they want to do. But you, for the next two weeks, have nothing but twos out here. Like, it, Spirit is giving you a time frame of when you can, you know, relax. Okay? Because they will give up eventually. Guys, this being a message, I don't wish any negativity towards you. Please don't think I do. I wish you love, happiness, and peace. Spirit is watching those that want to do harm to you. Spirit is watching you and protecting you. I don't even want you guys to like, share, and subscribe because this is a type of reading that I despise and not because, you know, it came from spirit. It's because of the energy that people have, people with the, the ill intent. So I wouldn't even be offended if you guys didn't like it because I want you to protect yourself. Peace.